What's up guys? Hockey TikTok is back and we're doing an all new video. Today, I'm talking about Calgary Flames roster updates. Um, you know, I've made my final predictions. I've made my, uh, you know, opinions, my guesses of what the Flames would be doing for the beginning of the season. But at this point now, um, it's actually time to find out what the roster is going to be like. So um, at this point, uh, the Flames have uh, assigned uh, some of the final uh, roster cuts down to the AHL, which requires them to clear the waiver wire, uh, which means that any other team can then um, just kind of pick uh, these guys right off the, the team without having to, to give them anything in return, um, which is pretty risky because that means that uh, at the end of the day, the Flames could end up losing some of their um, younger guys that don't actually, uh, you know, they, they don't they, they haven't earned a spot yet um, on the roster. So uh, that was that's kind of the biggest news is. Uh, uh, a couple of guys have been assigned to the, the waivers. Um, the most important one or most kind of concerning one is Jacob Pelche. Um, the reason why it's concerning is because uh, he was drafted in the first round a few years ago. So, uh, you know, a lot of people have been asking or kind of saying, well, what does that matter? Why, why does it matter? If he's not good enough to make the team, he's not good enough to make the team. So, um, you know, why, why would we care? Well, the reason why it's important is because uh, if he ends up getting signed, you know, I've heard rumors that another team like Montreal would be interested in just signing him, taking him right off of uh, Calgary's ro roster. The reason why that's important is because um, then the Flames end up losing him for nothing. You know, they drafted him first round. And just a few years later, after uh, not really developing properly, um, he would end up just leaving the team without actually uh, getting us anything in return. Whereas if we kept him, there is the potential that he could be traded for another draft pick um, later on in the season. Even if it's not worth a first round anymore, maybe it could at least be a second or a third or a fourth or something like that. So that's kind of where uh, you know people kind of tend to disagree is whether or not he should be kept with the NHL. I was of the opinion that he should have been kept up with the main roster and worked his way back into the NHL. Um, the Flames uh, management obviously saw differently. They put him down on uh, the waivers in order to get him to the AHL. And as of the time of this recording, we don't know yet whether or not he's going to clear and make it to the Wranglers, or if he's going to be picked up by another team. A couple other guys were, were in the same boat. You know, Devin Cooley, um, he's getting sent down as well. Um, you know, he had a really good uh, training cap, the goalie, uh, third stringer, you know, but uh, he had to clear the waivers as well. Um, we'll see if he makes it. Hopefully he gets through the waivers and gets to play um, for the Wranglers at the uh, beginning of the season and then if he ever needs to get called up for an injury or just for some extra experience, he'll have that chance. Um, and uh, one thing to note about him is when uh, the Flames and Conroy signed him, they made a really good deal, a really good contract because they put him on a two-way deal on his second year. So it's a two year contract and on the second year, uh, it's a, or sorry, it's a one way deal on the second year. Um, so what that means is in his second year of his current contract, he must get paid full NHL salary. He must be um, with an NHL team getting NHL money, even or even if he gets sent down to the minor leagues, he's still gonna get paid uh, more. and. For those of you that don't understand the reason why that's important, it's because each team has a salary cap and they have to stay cap compliant. They can't pay they can't pay more than uh, a certain amount. And the bigger the contract, the harder it is to keep it under uh, team control. So and the Flames have a lot of contract space right now. They don't really have any super highly paid players except for um, a couple of guys like uh, 
Nazem Kadri and Jonathan Huberdeau and a few others. But other than that, they have a lot of lower contracts, so they can afford to keep um, extra guys around. Whereas some of the other uh, more, you know, like high spending teams might not be able to afford a guy like that. So anyways, that's the news of the day, guys, is Peltier and a couple others have been put on the waiver wire to get down to the AHL. Um, it's pretty big news because um, it's kind of the final step before starting the actual regular season. And it's finally going to get to the point where we get to see what the team is actually going to be like. Um, another little bit of news just came out right today. And that is that uh, Jaeger Sharon Govich, um, one of the, uh, the top uh, wingers for the team so far, um, is going to be starting the season um, injured. So he's go- he's been placed on injury reserve, which means he probably won't play, at least for the first week or two of the season. Um, apparently, he was injured in the final preseason game, and uh, he left that game early, and it just came out today that the injury was more serious than just a, you know, a little bruise or bump or something like that that is going to keep him out for only that game, he's going to be out at least a week or two, I, I think. So uh, what does that mean for the team? Well, the big thing that means for the team is that uh, some of the um, the players that were kind of on the edge of making it now have a better uh, chance. So um, uh, who will probably fill in for him? I'm guessing it'll end up being Sam Honzik. Um, he was probably the standout rookie in the training camp for the preseason and he has earned a spot on the team. I've heard a lot of experts and a lot of people saying that Sam Honzik uh, deserved a spot on the team regardless of injury or not. But if one of our top uh, wingers is going to be out, well then I think Sam Honzik could easily slip into that role. If not, maybe they could shuffle around a few guys and get Hanzik at least into line uh, four or line three. I don't know how, how they want to structure it, but he definitely will probably uh, get to take um, that spot in the main NHL roster for the Calgary Flames this year. So um, that's pretty big news. Um, other than that, uh, just hockey stuff in general. Um, I made a video last week about uh, the goalie for the Boston Bruins Jeremy Swayman, he ended up signing a deal with them finally after a lot of drama between him and the uh, management there. So um, that's kind of wrapped up and uh, there's nothing more to see there. He's got his deal and he's going to play this year, even though he was holding out for a while to get his contract. He ended up getting the contract and uh, he's good to go. He's going to play for them. It was like uh, kind of a big thing in the news because um, one of the managers said publicly that uh, you know, he put a deal out on the table for 64, 64 million. And it never, apparently never, he never said it in real life. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the newest updates about, uh, NHL and mostly Calgary flames. You know, I'm a Calgary flames, uh, fan and, uh, I focus mostly on that team, but you know, I, I like to just kind of talk about NHL in general uh, and, uh, Give you guys your little daily dose of hockey talk. So, anyways, have a good day, guys, and see you later.